Did anyone else notice that Trisha's laugh is kind of similar to Jason's now? <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, my video for today. Thanks for joining us. This is Trisha, my beautiful girlfriend, and she looks lovely today. Can we just take a minute? We had a better, we had a really good intro. We had another video we tried to do. We did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was a good intro about how me and Jason almost broke up last night. He made a joke about it, but it, there was actually some truth to I'll, it. I'll put it at the end of this video, the failed start of was... that other video. <laughs> Where we couldn't make each other laugh. <laughs> we tried to try not to laugh challenge, <laughs> and because we had a fight last night, we both were just like not laughing. So now we've switched over to reading <laughs> mean comments. Something way easier for us. I'll go first. Okay. Honestly, I feel so sorry for Jason. He seems so miserable with Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> That's just truth. <laughs> I kind of feel like he's only still with her because she'll do one of those crazy ass videos on the kitchen floor and expose him. <laughs> That's why you want to stay with me? <laughs> yeah, like I'm afraid. Like you have me honest. <laughs> tries to break up with me and it never happens. That, that's not true. You've tried a couple times. Last night when you said that some mean things about me, I wasn't having it. One mean thing. Yeah, you said one mean thing. Why don't you tell everyone what No. <laughs> Jason also said he was blocked. He was like, blocking your number, I'm done. And then I like called and it wasn't blocked. <laughs> Yeah, I totally, I totally blocked you. And then literally for like about 10 seconds. And then I went back and I was like, I can't do that. I'm like, if something happens to her. <laughs> like if that stalker comes and gets you, I would feel so bad. Okay. You, you wouldn't expose me, would you? No, like I would have been really upset. Like if you would have broken up with me, I would have been upset. I probably would have done a video, but I wouldn't have done anything mean. I would have been like, we broke up. Like I got dumped. You would have done a video about it? Yeah. We have to if we break up. We oh my just... god. I would never do a video if we broke up. Okay. I, I, d I do respect that as a YouTuber. <laughs> That's like when David cut his hand. The first thing he said was, get, like, clickbait, clickbait, get the camera. And meanwhile, he's like bleeding out. Okay, here's one about you. I feel like Jason is going through a midlife crisis and is on the verge of breaking down in tears sometimes. <laughs> Fan, and although I rooted for this relationship, I hope Jason finds better. He deserves better. Trisha has warped political views, is an extreme narcissist, and just in general is not that great of a person. Well, that's not true. <laughs> First of all, this person is excellent. They got it right on me. But then somehow she swung it back to me. I know. It's like I'm saying you're on the verge of a breakdown and midlife crisis, and then it goes to me just being an extreme narcissist. Well, that person's right. I am, uh, I am in a midlife crisis. You are? I mean, I've been in it for 10 years. Oh my god, am I just I, a I midlife see, crisis girlfriend? No, I've been in a midlife crisis since I was 35. I just don't like to do things that 44-year-old men like to do. I'm not into the lawn, I don't like to go to the hardware store, I don't tinker in the garage. When I was like uh, married and stuff, I'd like talk to the other guys and they'd be like, oh, so I'm thinking about putting an addition on in the back of the house. And I'd be like, ugh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's, I just don't care about this. I, like, it's so much more fun to like make videos and, and believe me, like when they all go party and stuff, like it's not like I'm like, yeah, I'm, like, it's, it sucks. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not like out there like, yeah, I'm 25. I, Sometimes. No, I'm not. When do I go party on my own? Never. I don't party at all. Next time you party. I can't even think of like one time. I can think of 10. Okay. <laughs> Such a weird video. Everyone is calling Trish crazy, yet no one is wondering why Jason even recorded this and posted it online. They're referring to the fight we had at the, at the French fight place. Thank you. That's, I know, I saw comments in there, everyone being like, Trish is crazy. Jason literally took out the camera and I, I looked at him right away and I was like, but because I was kind of in the wrong on that, not really, but like kind of in the wrong on that one, I was like, fine, we can put this up because I felt a little bad. But I mean like, the, the boys shut me down all the time. Like, Todd will be like, no, this is not. And I'll be like, I'll bring the camera out. He'll be like, no, no, no. I don't want this there. I mean, you can say that. But you I'll, never shut me down. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, I don't mind being filmed for everything. Like, I like it, but it is weird in the moment. Well, but I don't mind it because I'm like, you know what? This is good content. I agree. Someone tweeted me about that video from Wednesday DMs and they were like, don't you think you're exposing the relationship a little bit? And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yes. How about you spend time 
time knowing this gorgeous guy who loves you. You do all the things and push around, so it's hard to let him be himself or express himself. Usually any relationship like that get a separation slap because you don't even care to listen. Give him space equal to yours in your relationship instead of fight, filling all the gaps in silence in your relationship. Usually when a person is comfortable, they talk. They also have the comfortable silence and feel good in. Please don't push things to force them. I feel sad because the more it goes, you are working on a learning curve and not a lasting relationship curve. I don't even know if you will pause and be true to yourself and own your mistakes if one failed. Oh dear, I don't feel good about this and I don't want to get you poor video, but you are in need of a true deep conversation your relationship will fail. You need to stop pushing him and things away. Ooh, screenshot that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna frame it. <laughs> she took a lot of time to write that. That's what I'm saying. Like, but in a way, like when I see someone that did that, wrote all that, I was like, oh wow, like Trisha did her job. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got her reaction. Like yeah. whatever you did in the video, like that could elicit that. Like, I wish someone would sit and go off on me like that. I know, yours are all very small comments. Someone said, can someone point me to the video where Jason is in this insane shape? <laughs> 277 thumbs up. I can't believe Jason is still with Trisha. I was sure he would have run by now. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people said that. I also want to say like, like, yeah, if you see something in the videos, like, I don't know, like, she's so, you're so sweet to me. Yeah, I feel like the videos actually do make us both seem a little like... I think probably too is because like I don't show the nice moments. In mine at least. Yeah. But in yours? A little bit, but even that, people just see what they want to see because people even say like, Jason looks so awkward, he looks so forced, he never like kisses Trisha, but it just looks like he's not an affectionate person like on camera. So that's like, I think that's I'm just why. not affectionate on camera because of my kids. Like I just don't want them... No, I don't care. See, seeing me like... Ugh. We don't have to make but I mean, they don't watch the videos anyways. So, I, and also, I'm also just an uncomfortable person. Yeah, true. Here. <laughs> That's how we get. So we don't even know. <laughs> Trisha said I keep my eyes open. When we oh, ew! It's so creepy. <laughs> don't you love how Trisha always blamed her father for abandoning her and being with his new wife? But then, when a man who has kids comes into her life, she has no qualms trying to gain more time from him instead of being understanding about the that. Kids. I never complain. If Jason's like, I'm with my kids, or I never say anything because I know how like annoying That's it is. True. Never. That's I never. That's true. Never. She's really, really good. At I honestly can't stand when Jason chews gum in vlogs. I have to lower the volume. Uh, if he can just stop smacking it, I'd be so happy. I know. I'm really sorry about the gum chewing. It's awful. <laughs> I'm addicted to Nicorette. <laughs> Have you ever said that? No. People never knew what kind. And I, I felt like if people knew the kind of gum you were chewing, it would make sense. But people were like, take that gum out of me. I know. I have to stop. Will you, will you do me a favor and help me? I have tried. And I told you it's bad for your stomach. It's acidic. It's all Especially bad. Especially when I'm filming. Just tell me to take the gum out. Oh my god. Even if we got married and had two kids later, literally people would still be like, Jason looks so scared in this relationship. You need to run. He's scared to leave it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did you say? I? No, you missed the joke. Say it again. No, you missed it. I, I was reading I can't read you. you. No, that's not the, You have to pay attention to both comments. You don't pay attention when I read mine. I pay attention when you read yours. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go. <laughs> People are writing mean comments about you right now about what you just did. Good thing I'm editing this. <laughs> Do you realize that being in the vlog squad is literally his job? And if you try to break them up, Jason <laughs> will literally be struggling to make ends meet. <laughs> And if you didn't have your friends, you would be done. Probably. <laughs> of course. He has no. two kids and needs financial stability, <laughs> and you want to take that away from him because you're jealous? You gotta think about other people's happiness too, not just your own. People need friends to be happy. You probably know that because you've had no one before and <laughs> know how terrible it is. I've been there dozens of times. Oh, oh my, my god! god. So don't try to take away his friends and his happiness just because you don't have any. Jesus! No, she's coming back on your side now. She's, she's being nice. You can have both. If you accepted his friends, they'd accept you. And you could all be happy friends together. <laughs> you could all be friends together. If you weren't blatantly trying to split them up and believing what you want to believe, you really could be part of the squad. No. I Bulls one day. <laughs> Be nice about the squad. You know what? Even yesterday, Josh admitted that he wasn't in it. He's like, we're the outsiders in the squad. We're just out the tag alongs. I said, I know. And he said, we're going to start our own squad. And we are called the Chicken Finger Fam because we both love chicken fingers. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Can he I... said that. He's like, because I'm like, are you in the squad? He's like, no. He goes, we're like tag alongs. I'm like, yes, that's what I say. Oh my God. You're both so classically. You're both the same person, you and Josh. I thought there was a giant muffin in the microwave oven thingy. Then I realized it's the reflection of Jason's head. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Someone told me I looked like a Q-tip the other day. Sometimes I wish Jason would, Jason would just snap on her. She needs a reality check. He treats her like a little girl, trying not to hurt her feelings. This is what you guys don't see. He does snap on me all the time. I would say a four good times he snapped. 
if you guys don't think he gives me a reality check, oh, he gives it to me. And it's usually in the form of like, I am done, I'm blocking your number. <laughs> I legit thought he was gay. Me too, Jen Jen, me too. 152 thumbs up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I legit thought he was gay? Mm -hmm. I'm not gay, guys. <laughs> Saddest thing ever. Like, I don't care. I mean, I don't care if people think I am. Gay. I know, but they I really don't. That. I really don't care. Did anyone else notice that Trisha's laugh is kind of similar to Jason's now? <laughs> 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 yes! Oh my gosh. I, I know. I love this one. <laughs> anyone else think Jason isn't even that good looking? Just me? Okay then. <laughs> as if there was like a debate, as you're like, the, I say, oh, he's the hottest person in the world. You are! Well, sometimes you do like it makes you uncomfortable when you're like you're so attractive and I know that the audience is like oh my god She's got hit over the head. No, everyone says that. Okay, Trish Don't do that with David in front of Liza a girlfriend will only take so much before she defends her man That's you're a way to make everyone not like you if Liza turns on you. You're gone <laughs> Oh, I'm shook. Liza would never because honestly Liza's actually so sweet. Liza's really 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 nice I've to said like, like she's gone above and beyond to like oh, yeah. be nice to you. She's and, overtly. I mean, Liza's just really nice anyway but and I've said like in front of her like it's special. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yikes, everyone looks so uncomfortable when Trish is picking fights with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally the most awkward person. Can I share this story? I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I'm gonna share it anyways. One of his friends, we were like cuddling one night and one of his friends texted something about me and said, Don't show this to Trish, and I'm literally like looking at his phone. Like, I didn't even know this was happening. I just look at it his phone. <laughs> And then Jason texts back, if you don't want Trish to see something, don't text it. <laughs> Man, this is 657 thumbs up, you guys. Man, the way she gets so close to his face and just gives him this intense stare the entire time without ever breaking, it is making me feel uncomfortable for him. <laughs> There's something about hearing a 44-year-old man saying, you guys down, that depresses me. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I'll write a one-man show. Trisha, can I be in it? I don't remember saying that, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> because I feel like that's something I would say. <laughs> Wait, I said, you I'm going to write a one-man show, and you said, can I be in it? Yeah. <laughs> Jealous of a six-year-old girl from his past? Girl, you need counseling. <laughs> this was a story about you hanging out with that girl on, like, Cape Cod or something when you were six. Or, like... <laughs> And you're like, so there was this girl, and I was like... <laughs> yeah. The vlog squad of the Beatles and Trisha's Yoko Ono, I'm here for this. <laughs> what is this one from? This is when we were in the bedroom, and you were like, you were saying you are going to expose everyone. That's because David always asked me. One time at dinner, he was, he's like, go around and say something bad about each person at the table. And I was, remember at Mercado? Oh yeah, that was awful. <laughs> And like Trisha's being lovely and saying and actually like, everyone's having a good time David just pulls out his camera. He's like, okay, Trisha <laughs> Say something horrible about everyone and then I was like, no, 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 no. And I started with Brandon <laughs> <laughs> She's so damn toxic, but their reactions are priceless <laughs> Love that. Honestly slowly starting to hate Trisha I was all for this But now she's telling Jason to move out so early in their relationship and getting jealous of the boys That's why people tune into Jason's channel is to watch their friendship and their weird jokes they make like I don't find it funny when she talks about how she'll expose him. Like, who would want to have a future with someone of friends who <laughs> never friends? She's just so mature to say, well, I'm not classy. <laughs> this one's going, like, Jason needs to run <laughs> with four hands. I know she's been <laughs> over in the past, but that's no excuse to drag David and Brandon into her little hallucination about Jason being gay and trying to expose them. I mean, she was joking, but I have a feeling she's not joking at all. She's crazy, mm -hmm. clingy, mm -hmm. and it's no wonder she has no friends in her relationships. Never last. Oh my god, wow. me last night. Mike. My panic attack. Trisha, if you're reading this, you need help. You need therapy. <laughs> you also don't disagree with this. Last night, Jason was like, if you want to go to therapy, I'll go with you, which was actually very nice, but also probably true. I, I would go to therapy with you, and maybe Mad Mike can come. <laughs> Anyone else completely over Trisha and Jason being together? 114 likes. 206 thumbs up. Jason is so trapped. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is a straight up bitch. She means everything <laughs> she says. She, she literally wants to take all of Jason's friends away. Yep. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Fact. <laughs> Stop worrying guys, Trisha is, is just ruining her reputation as a psych psychopathic overbearing girlfriend who is way too controlling and threatens other people when she doesn't get her way. She is the one that's going to suffer in the subscribers and the whole ordeal when Jason finally leaves her. Body language is there. I believe he's already had enough and is realizing <laughs> who she really is. And this is from a man. <laughs> Here's finally one against Jason. Thank God. Thank you. Everyone loves Jason, but I get like a weird bad vibe. I like that he seems deep with her, especially when she cuts the camera out and it's kind of off camera, but something is still off. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Al 
Allie Williams. Get Allie Williams, you're right. Something's <laughs> definitely off about me. Oh, this is great. This is the tattoo one. Yeah. Quotes. Trisha says, I'm not forcing him to do this. Let's go right now so you don't back out. <laughs> Can someone tell me what they genuinely have in common? Well, we have a lot in common. Um, let's see. Mm. Let me just get the shout out and then we'll be good. Baby, someone made me the shout out. I retweet you every single all right, day. All right, I'm gonna make you the shout out today. How about I'll do two? No! All right, Trisha's the shout out. <laughs> you do one all the time. Okay, okay, you're the shout out. Today's shout, that's it for today's, how do I say? Oh, that's what David says. I say, uh, all right, everybody, like and subscribe, tweet me, uh, Jason Nash, Instagram, at Jason Nash. Today's shout out. Right here. It's Trisha Paytas. <gasps> Not that you need it. Wow, she looks really pretty. You should follow her. There you go. I just got really self-conscious because Kristen's here now. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, Kristen must be like, they, they are not funny at all. Oh, we're not. <laughs> that's why we couldn't do the try not to laugh challenge. She looks like a catalog. I feel like you look like that's like a the quintessential like girl, like in the house, like catalog model with her off the shoulder shirt and the glasses. Kristen's so beautiful. No, I know. You literally look like a model. Straight up. Right now. It's like I can never say that because Scott flips out. <laughs> All right, well, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're gonna go help Trisha make. Oh, the comment's gonna be, did you see Trisha's face when he called Chris pretty? That's gonna be everything. Like, I know those are the comments. Even if I'm like, yeah, she's gorgeous, people are like, oh, Dallas, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. This is <laughs> I just got a text from Scott. I don't know how he heard it. Oh, he, wow, he's way out of here. Don't it's talk that way about my girlfriend. Okay. That was shit. <laughs>